Hello students, I am Sunil Ranjan and I am an English teacher. In this session, I am going to speak on Winston Churchill. And Winston Churchill, a very famous personality that has inspired people across the world. He said a line and the line goes, never give up on something that you can't go a day without thinking about. I repeat, never give up on something that you can't go a day without thinking about. Well, this was the line by Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1940 to 1945 and again from 1951 to 1955. A multifaceted man, he was also an officer in the British Army a writer and a historian. Born as a son of a prominent politician hailing from an aristocratic family, he grew up to be a rebellious boy who hated formal education and did poorly in school. As a young man, he embarked on a military career and visited several countries including India, Cuba and Egypt where he witnessed bloody battles and was even imprisoned. He served as both soldier and journalist and was greatly appreciated for his work as a war correspondent. Eventually he left the army and ventured into politics where he enjoyed even greater success. Intelligent and charismatic he proved to be a popular politician and held many political and cabinet positions. He became the prime minister during a highly tumultuous period in history. When the World War II was in full swing, he managed the political affairs with great tact and successfully led Britain as Prime Minister until victory over Nazi Germany had been secured. In recognition of all that he had done for the nation, he is widely counted among the most influential people in British history. A prominent writer, he wrote The Second World War. A history of the period from the end of the World War I to July 1945. He worked with a team of assistants on his seminal work which played a major role in earning him the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1953. The book was a major commercial success in both Britain and the US. His funeral was the largest state funeral in world history up to that time. Representatives from 112 nations attended the event and he was mourned by millions across the globe who watched the funeral on television. In 1963, American President John F. Kennedy proclaimed him an honorary citizen of the United States, making him the first person to be made so. So students, I hope you knew about Winston Churchill. So keep brushing up your general knowledge because that makes your personality. And if you have subscribed to my channel first class, if you haven't, do subscribe so that we meet again and again in the time to come. Thank you.